Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Academy Life Part 2. My name is James the Wolf, as you can see in the description there. And last time we were here, we heard two mysterious girls around the corner. Um, <laughs> funny thing actually, I forgot to save last time. So as soon as I closed it, I lost all the data. <laughs> kind of funny. Anyways, um, I went back. I went to talk to Misty, I chose the other correct choice, and it seems that that one actually made her a lot happier. Anyways, um, that's the choice I guess I wanted to make, but anyways, I took a look- Bleh. Sorry, I'm not ready for this today. One second. Whew. I took a look around for an escape path, but this hallway conveniently ends in a dead end. I'm trapped. There's nowhere to go. The other thing I can do is stand my ground and beg for forgiveness. This is it. This is where my precious academy life ends. And it hasn't even been a day. Goodbye, cruel world. Hey look, it's that girl again. What? The girl- whoa, hello, what's going on here? What? The girl takes me by the hand and drags me deeper down the hallway. Whoa, she's way stronger than she looks. Hold on, is she trying to save me? She was acting so snobby just now, but maybe in that insufferable personality, she's not such a bad girl after all. Okay, one second, folks. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, my thing was uh, messing up. Uh, let's see, where was I? Hold on, is she trying to save me? She was acting so snobby just now, but maybe somewhere in that insufferable personality, she's not such a bad girl after all. Look, you don't have to try to help me. I'll just explain what happened. Keep your voice down. If I'm seeing here with you, those seniors are gonna grow me too. Huh? Why? Aren't you a senior? No, I'm a freshman. And I don't want rumors spreading them with someone like you just because I even had my... I'm with someone like you before I even had my first class. Well, that thought was short-lived. She stops me in front of a tall door where she goes in. Stay here. As she closes the door behind her, I casually glance towards the sign that was clearly and unmistakably represents the girl's bathroom. <sighs> okay, hide in here. I'll come get you when the coast is clear. Oh, no, I'm not going in there. Hello, the sign says it's a girl's bathroom. Yeah, I have eyes too. It's the only room that's not locked in this hallway, so get in before they see us. Oh, hell no! The girl's bathroom is a female's most private sanctuary. I can't possibly defile her with my male presence. But this is a pretty serious crisis we have in our hands. What should I do? Uh, jump out the window! Uh, I guess there's really no choice. There's no way I'm going in there. Uh, I really want to jump out the window. Uh, well, given my options, I guess there's really no choice. Nah, fine, I'll listen to her. There's no other way around it, and I suppose I should do what she says, since it was because of me that we got into this mess in the first place. Okay, I'll do it, but I'm covering my eyes while I'm in there. The girl gives me a reassuring smile. Hey, she's actually kind of pretty when she smiles like that. How noble. But looking inside isn't going to make your eyes implode or anything. Now, not a peep from you while I'm gone. She opens the door and gestures me inside. Ladies first. Ha ha. Did she just shut the lights off too? That's creepy, man. Just be good and sit there. I'll be right back. I don't trust this. She didn't even give me the opportunity to counter. Immediately after the door shuts, I can hear her running off towards the approaching voices. I guess she's going to convince them not to look in here. Who is that girl anyway? She's not an upperclassman, but the way she handled that whole tobacco was impressive. Not gonna lie. It's almost like she's experienced this kind of pressure before. You know, I haven't had much time to think about it until now. But what kind of situation is this? This is the kind of thing you see happen in comics or TV shows. I wonder how my younger self would react if I told him that he's going to end up hiding from girls, alone, in the girls' bathroom. Okay, come on out. 
That was fast. What did you say to them? I just told them that I saw a shiny Eevee in the tall grass on the opposite side of the building. That should keep them busy for a while. That's a good one. I bet they made a beeline for it. Well, of course. Anyone would. That's awesome. A shiny Eevee? Well, I don't think I'd be able to resist an opportunity like that either. This girl knows how Pokemon enthusiasts tick. I've never seen a pack of girls turn heel and run so fast before. Makes you wonder what their priorities are in life right now. Oh, before I forget, here I took one of their brochures that they dropped. If I recall, you really need it. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Literally. Don't mention it. But that detour just now really put me behind schedule. I have to meet with my new roommate in the main hall before I'm late. But you know, despite everything that happened, it was... kind of... a lot of fun. Probably the most fun I've had in a while. Well, of course, I'm amazing. Let's do this again sometime. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. I smiled back at her as she ambles away. Even after she was out of my sight, I continued to stand there, smiling like an idiot. Oh, I forgot to ask her name. Shit. Okay, where are we now? I see a Steelix. What else is there? Hmm. I managed to make my way back to the first year dorms. The layout's simpler than I thought. I can see how that girl was surprised I got so lost so easily. Uh... Hey, Misty! It's you again! You're the guy that ran me over earlier. But at least you were a decent enough human being and apologized. Not many people own up to their mistakes. I, uh, appreciated it. See, this would have been a lot different if I didn't do this before. Thank God. I obviously made the wrong decision. I guess this is where I introduce myself. I'm Misty. Misty! Whoa. Maybe she can tone down the sass after all. I'm Wolfie. Nice to meet you. Wolfie? For real? What kind of name is that? I stand corrected. Uh, I just mean I don't know when many people named that is all. I'm not implying it's weird or anything. Honest. Wow, are you bipolar or something? You really changed the tunes. I don't even know anymore. Ugh. Why am I always so... You're gonna have to speak up a bit. You started trailing off that last sentence. I didn't say anything! She looks and sounds really tense. I should choose my words carefully. Uh, well, I learned this. If you press the right click, you can save. So, this might be a good idea. There we go. Ah, <sighs> so, thankfully, this should help. So, let's see here. Um... I should choose my words carefully. Is that a cerulean outfit? I'm gonna go with that one. Sounds like fun. Yeah! That thing's good. I recognize those clothes. Are you from Cerulean City by any chance? Do you know Cerulean City? Yeah, common ground. Sure, my mom and I used to go there and the... we used to go to the water parks all the time when I was a little kid. Though, those Gyarados reds always scared the pants off me back then. Ah, no way! Where are you from? I'm from Palatown. I'm not- it's not the well- it's not the most well-known place in Kanto, but I'm sure you've heard of it. What town? Pewter? Uh, no. Pallet Town. You know, bone with all the trees and grass, Professor Roak, any of that ring a bell? Nope, sorry. What? Misty, come on! Damn! I was so close to a full conversation. Curse me in my humble upbringing. Oh, I almost forgot. I still need to unpack all my stuff. I shouldn't keep holding you up. Here, let me take your bags in for you to make up for earlier. I reached for her bags. Now that I have a closer book... Bleh. Now that I have a closer look, her bags look awfully fancy for a high school student. Wait, what does the name tag say? Something about a gym? Don't touch those! Grr. Misty snatches the bags away from me. Uh, okay, looks like you got it. What's she so defensive for? I was just gonna help her bring her stuff in. Don't go around touching a girl's things! 
Misty gathers her belongings and slams the door in your face. Ugh. Man. Sucks. You think a girl would be flattered with a guy offering to do something like that? Maybe she's one of those strong, independent types. You got that right. Well, let's go check out our room. Whoa, not bad. It didn't take long before the hall staff brought over my two suitcases. I could stay out longer, but chilling in the room sounds really good right now. The room was much more spacious than I expected. I wasn't a huge fan of the hardwood floor. Other than that, I really can't complain. Each person has his own bed, desk, cabinet, the standard, but there's just so much space and legroom in between. Do, 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 do. I like the music. It's mostly Pokemon themed remixes. I don't know. It's fun. Hell, if you divide the room in half, it's probably the same size as my room back in Palette, if not bigger. Yeah, if you cut right in half, it's. It'd be actually pretty small. I spent way too much time looking around the room that I barely started unpacking my belongings. Attention, new students! The time is now 4.45 p.m. There will be an orientation taking place in the auditorium of Relic Hall starting in 15 minutes. All new students are advised to attend. I checked the time to confirm. How far is it from here? I just realized I have no idea where the auditorium is. But I bet it'll take some time, so I should probably get going. Odd that Brendan hasn't come back. Who could that be? Whoa! Man, I'm good. Hey, hey, Wolfie! Ah, you're way more on top of things than I am. Now you're gonna take all the good spots in the room! Brendan was carrying several duffel bags in a suitcase. Nah, I actually just got here too. Bullshit. Looks like you settled in a bit at least. Hey! Did you get a look at the fitness room over at the Helix Wing? That place looks great! They got every machine you can name, and they have a wrist roller! What's a wrist roller? I've been meaning to try one of those things out. I didn't realize Brendan got so hyped up about this kind of stuff. But after getting a good look at him from up close, I can kind of see it. I've only ever been to a few gyms in my life, but Brendan sure sounds like he knows, like he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Wow, I'm a record player. Sounds like he knows what he's talking about. I don't know too much about gyms, but I'll take your word for it. You go to the gym a lot? Of course. I never miss a day without doing my reps. Do you lift, bro? Oh. Do you even lift, bro? Yeah, every once in a while. I'm not a bodybuilder. Or <sighs> Sorry. I'm not a bodybuilder or anything, but I know my stuff. Well, looks like we'll both be newbies once we take a better look at that gym. You seriously have to see for yourself. Yeah, man, I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, and the best part about it is, it's totally free for students. Dude, we should, like, get super swole together. We'll be gym buddies. Let's do some reps after the stupid orientation meeting later. Oh. Oh, ho. wait, we have to go to that, like, right now. Yeah, we can come back anytime and get everything sorted down here. Yep. That's why I wanted to bring my stuff over first. You know, the hall staff said they'd bring everything to us, right? Ooh. Yeah, I knew that. I just wanted a good workout, you know what I mean? I think I do. I think it means you had no idea that they did that for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here. Hmm? Brendan's info. Gotta have that. Totally forgot to give that to you when we left the lobby earlier. When you obtain someone's info, that person will show up in your character cards collection. You can view character cards through your menu. Ask Access by pressing escape or clicking the right button on your mouse. So this. Let's see. Text log. Character cards. Uh, students. Huh? I don't see it. I'm going to scroll through it. Oh, looks there's a lot of people. I don't see Brendan anywhere. Instructors? General staff? No? That's weird. What's in traits? Stage 1, fresh. Stage 1, basic. Stage 1, plain. Stage 1, novice. Ah, at least I'm fresh. <laughs> Text log? 
Uh, okay then. Guess I'll figure that out later. And I'm sorry about the music, it keeps like freaking out. It's really odd for me to. Okay then. Anyway, let's go for real now. Right behind you. Ooh. It's impressive how many first year students are stuffed in here. I'm admiring the sight, but Brendan seems to be in his own world. If I had to guess, he's probably looking for me. People won't stop coming in. There has to be a few hundred in here at this point. Back in Kanto, aside from the big city towns, it'd be weird to have more than 100 students in a single grade. A hundred students? And I don't know what kind of classes you're going to because uh, I have like maybe 30 most. Then again, students from all over the world are enrolled here. If I think about it that way, a couple hundred from more than one grade is pretty selective. Hey, hey, there you are. Hey, look to me. There are so many people. I can't believe everyone here is the same age as us. Hi, Wolfie. How's your with Brendan? We didn't get to hang out long in the room before we heard the announcement to come here. We'll be fine, though. Oh, oh god! Why? Not like this. The noise! It's like a thousand Pokemon got together and you screech and supersonic at the same time! I can't tell if I'm screaming from the pain or if it's still the feedback. Everyone's dead. What kind of terrible speaker makes a sound like that? All right, all right, everyone, you can all do your cute intros or catch up with each other later, but please find yourselves a seat. There should be plenty of open spots. If I'm a guessing guy, I believe that Professor Oak is coming up. Half the people in this room are still brain dead on the floor after that uproar. I can feel my ears crying. What was that? Oh, what was that? Some kind of hazing ritual? Please, no more! I'll kill you! Flattery, not here! Oof. Isn't that the girl from X and Y? She's like one of the gym leaders. Hey, there's that guy from, uh... From Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, yeah. Or maybe it's from Black and White, I'm not sure. Try that again! Is that Sabrina? I don't know. Come on now, we're on schedule! Get moving! What a scary girl. I hope I don't have to mess with her anytime soon. Gosh! Wait, there's someone up at the top now. Okay, I'm guessing it's not Professor Oak. Oh well. You'd think she'd at least say something beforehand to warn us. Uh, who? Yeah, who are we talking about here? Oh, come on, Brennan, at least you should know. Up on the podium! That's Roxanne, the student council president! Roxanne, I believe that's the first gym leader from Pokemon Emeralds. I'm not entirely sure, though. Maybe Ruby Sapphire as well. Yeah, he would know. She's from Hoenn, just like us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess. You don't seem particularly interested. No way, I'm very interested! You're lying. What? Does this look like a face that would lie to you? No, it looks like a face that would lie to everybody. Whoa, dude! Damn, Wolfie, savage! <laughs> well, I know I am, but, you know. <laughs> Man reaches over to high-five me. Aw, oh, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Nice, you're both coordinated already. Alright, you got me. Let's go grab our seats before Miss Preston up there smashes our ears again. Good evening, our new friends. I am Moxan, and to start, I would like to thank the Academy staff here for allowing the Council to hold this special event. I hope you will all make the most out of this occasion and grant me the opportunity to officially welcome every one of you to this prestigious establishment. Everyone, welcome to the Kobocon Academy of Advanced Pokemon Arts and Sciences. While we are calling this event an orientation, I'd like to ask for your patience in this initial assembly before you all return to socializing or attending your personal agendas. False advertising. There's a difference between an orientation and an assembly. It's coming. I know this is going to be one of those long insomnia-curing speeches. 
For the first thing I'd like to mention, I hope you've all managed to reserve your own rooms in one of the three student residential halls. The one here is Relic Hall, and the other two, Pletch Hall and Aura Hall, are located east and west, respectively, from this location. I'm glad we got that done early. Yeah, man, thanks for taking the initiative. Another important item to cover is class scheduling. All of you here will follow a preset class schedule of six periods per day. I'll cover each right now, so if you don't want to wake up confused next week, pay close attention. This is it. The first period of each day is homeroom, lasting two hours. Course subjects will be covered here by a professor. If you're curious, course subjects include Pokemon Social Studies, Sciences, Basic Theory, and History. Two hours? Don't worry, Wolfie, it'll fly right by. But seriously, one class for two hours? If I had a Pokemon with me, I'd sooner spend two hours at Mount Moon with no repels. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. Ugh, but seriously, one class for two hours? Congratulations, try going to college for four and a half hours from one class. Following home will be one hour of the own Pokemon type elective of your choice. What type you choose depends completely on you. As first years, you will be able to select two out of 18 known Pokemon types to focus your studies on for a school year. Two out of the 18 known Pokemon types. Fire, water, electric, dark... Uh, oh, did I say electric already? Flying, fighting, psychic, dragon, fairy... Uh, bug... Whatever, there's ten. So focus on studies for your school year. Whoa, hold up. Are we specializing in two Pokemon types? Only two out of 18? I glanced in Brandon and May's direction. Neither of them even flinched at Roxanne's words. Did they both know about this? Wow, I wish Pokemon Oak told me about this kind of stuff before making me come here. The third period of the day is your gym class. Here you'll learn about different concepts of Pokemon battles, training strategies, and the mental and physical capabilities of each individual Pokemon. From noon starts your lunch hour. The main cafeteria is at the student center in the middle of this campus. You are also more than welcome to prepare your own meals ahead of time. In case you are wondering about your two Pokemon type elective, this is what your fifth period class will involve, the second Pokemon type of your choice. And to close out the day, your sixth and final period will be one more hour of homeroom. That's three hours of homeroom. After classes, academy research and extracurricular acti- yeah. Extracurricular facilities are designated for individuals or groups to choose. However, some facilities require special permission for access, and most close by sundown. I do hope there wasn't too much of information overload. Once classes are in session, I trust all you will be able to develop a comfortable routine. I sure hope so, Madam. I sure hope so, Madam President. Like many professors have said in the past, your adventure is about to begin. This is Kobukun Academy, and being here is your pride. Working together, we wish to foster an environment where you can believe in your own goals and take every opportunity that presents itself before you. But try as we might, the reality is that everything will always go your way. Not every opportunity will be for everyone, and not every door will be open for you. However, should you ever find yourself in a situation where you feel trapped and helpless, remember you can always create your own door and travel your own path. Oh boy. Have a great rest of the day, everyone, and don't forget to get those slams done. Great! You excited, Wolfie? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna pick the same electives as you. Oh boy. Then we'll be class buddies too. It'll be great. I... I cringe a little, but this is Brendan, I suppose. I've learned that much. May seems to be enjoying herself too. Imagine if you two get the same room teacher! Then you guys look a couple! I'm not sure how I should feel about that. Ah, jokes, dude. I'm just messing. I haven't decided on which two electives, so if I do end up picking the same ones as you, it's totally by chance. <coughs> False advertising! But yeah, I know one of my choices would be fire. And if you also decide to choose fire, you'll have at least one familiar face there. I need some time to figure this out. Wanna come with us and decide on Lecter's name? I'll have to pass, boys. 
I've already agreed to meet with Leaf later. Leaf? Her roommate. She was pretty awesome when you introduced her earlier. But yeah, Leaf's the first year like us, Wolfie. Leaf. Leaf. I've heard the name before. I think she wears like a green cardigan with a hat. I'm not entirely sure of the look at her. The three of us continued chatting while we escorted May back to her room. We hung out for a few minutes there, but Leaf was off somewhere the entire time. Apparently, she didn't even go to the orientation. Oh, that's kind of funny. She's choosing fire and Leaf is grass. Ha ha ha. I get it now. Apparently, she didn't even go to orientation. Brendan spoke of her pretty highly. I wonder what she's like. The two of us bid May goodnight before heading back to our room. Ugh, electives. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Which two type electives will you choose? There are 18 known Pokemon types. I have to decide carefully which two types should be my electives for this year. Alright, I am going to save here, just in case. And I'm thinking I'm going to leave it here, actually. 26 minutes in, that's pretty good. So, oh, of course, I missed the dark, and I missed the steel type and the dragon type. Oh, well. Uh, that's it for now, guys. If you want to see more, leave a like, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, Wolfie is out.